After having watched several movies and TV shows on artificial intelligence and robots, you might think that the space is crowded. Many Terminator-like movies introduced us to the evil side of artificial intelligence, Skynet. Blade Runners of the World reiterate the human versus robot aspect. And the modern day TV shows like Westworld are pushing the boundaries in this area. But there have been movies like Big Hero 6 that show you Baymax like robots, which are super great to have by your sides. It is all right to cry. No, no, no. Crying is a natural response. Artificial intelligence or robot related movies delve into some of the deepest philosophical questions related to free will, consciousness, and so on. Based on this, you will find robots on either side of the spectrum evil or good. Mostly evil because these make for blockbuster action movies that you see. You take away my world, I take away your. I literally sobbed as a kid when I first watched the ending scene of Terminator 2. I did not know what robots really are or what they do. I truly felt connected with the character and it was heartbreaking to see him burn to death. I did not even understand why he did that. Maybe it was pure emotion or connection, which comes with great storytelling but also innocence. I know now why you cry, but it's something I can never do. As a grown up, it is difficult for me to relate to robots as we understand the nitty of the world and what it means to be human. Not that uh, being human is great. Sometimes I, I prefer being a robot uh, rather than living this miserable life. Robots are mere machines to humans now and a death of a robot would hardly evoke any emotions in me anymore. Westworld does explain and deep dive into this realm of what it feels like to be robots. I struggled to connect with the emotional side of things in the first half of season 1, but it slowly grew on me. But Westworld is a completely different genre and storyline. It is deeper and complex and many more concepts. So it is easy for us to get lost now and then. But of course that does not change the fact how much I love Westworld. Very good Dolores. What does it mean? Which brings me to After Yang. After Yang has tapped into a relatively new aspect of AI that was rarely seen before. I did not cry or anything, but it had a very calming effect on me. This is an AI movie unlike any other I have seen. A fresh perspective or a rather fresh way of representing a less discussed possibility of AI. I mean there was AI and machines but there was no war. It was a deeply and carefully crafted story of how we as humans reduce everything to our existence as humans. We humans are so full of ourselves. We may not be on the top of the food chain technically, but we are superior than other species intellectually and otherwise. And then you speak about robots, machines that we made up. Forget about it. As a movie set in the future, it would have been easy for the makers to stray away from the main objective in the greed of showing more. I appreciate how After Yang does not try to do much. It stays true to one narrative and does justice to it. After Yang portrays emptiness with so much ease. We generally never pay so much attention to emptiness in movies. But the frames of this movie are captured in such a way that you feel the silence. In this movie, the silence calmed me down. The silence and emptiness is a way of showing the absence of Yang, which is the robot in the movie. I feel the silence and emptiness is kind of a commentary on how our lives would have been without technology. The lights and aesthetics in the movie are pleasing. The houses are futuristic with tech and glass doors but there is green all around. This feels like a subtext of balance between technology and nature, balance between human and robot. Yang's memories are central to the movie's plot. The conversations with Yang in his memories are some of the best moments of the movie. Conversations related to tea, end is the beginning and tree grafting are some of them that stayed with me. Also the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu once said, what the caterpillar calls the end, the rest of the world calls a butterfly. I have this weird feeling that this movie had so many metaphors thrown at me, but I could not absorb it. I was so much into the conversations, the silence and the melancholy. After Yang is a 90 minute immersive experience that is likely to evoke emotions if you surrender. The movie taps into the white space of the current landscape of AI and robot related movies, but it does not go out of the way to make that happen. Rather, it sticks to the basics and lets the medium do the magic.
Vingardium Leviosa.